Good morning and welcome back to another vlog and welcome to team camp day one. Today's day one of the St. Perrin team camp. We've got the team or most of the team, there's a few guys that aren't here. But yeah, there's seven or eight of us out here at the minute. These boys are going to be here for the next seven to ten days. Going to get some, the plan is to get in some good rides, some solid rides, learn a bit about each other, get to know the new guys. And yeah, just generally have a bit of fun. It's not too much of a serious team camp as going by the ethos of our team. So today we're kicking things off day one with a six hour ride. Just keeping it steady. We're gonna head over to the mountains. Let's get some good hours in on the bike in the sunshine. Keep crashing in my thoughts. When the time's right, we're gonna get all that's good. When the time's right. That is three and a half hours into today's ride, just over halfway. Stopped in the Mercadona in uh, Pago for some food. Oh, I'll get an egg, I'll get an egg. And since the stop at the supermarket, the group of seven has now whittled down to five. The two young lads, Alfie and Chris, have headed home early. They're gonna do five hours today. Six hours in the first day is a little bit much for them maybe, so. Yeah, those boys are gonna crack on. Me, Will, Ollie, Steve, and Jake are gonna do the full six. Here we go. Two hours to go. Feeling right. It's a pretty steady ride today. Endurance zone two, whatever you wanna call it. Banking miles, mate. Banking miles. been too many opportunities to film today because we've just been pressing on a little bit. Currently average is 32k an hour. We've done 178 kilometers and about half an hour to go until we get home. Making good progress. We're kind of just sitting at like five minute turns in the front, rotating through so everyone's getting an equal an equal turn. How's that Ollie day one? Done and dusted? So good ride? Yeah good good six hours 120 mile just Keep, so keeping it steady. Oh, I'm about a steady chain tie whole ride. Do you not fancy heading home early with the other boys, getting an early bath? Nah, men mate. Stuck it out, got the six done. 22 now, can't go home early. <laughs> okay, so as Ollie said, that ended up being a decent ride. Six hours today, 190 kilometers at an average power of 240 watts. Keeping it relatively chill, just press on a little bit on the climbs and uh, yeah, good first ride with the guys. But I teased this a little bit in, in my video today, but it's not, it's not actually my bike, but it's gonna be Steve's new race bike which is the 2019 uh colnago concept so here it is boys and girls this is what i'm going to be racing on this year steve's got his bike a little bit earlier because uh, he's i don't know he owns the team and he's special he just got it before everyone else but it is the colnago concept frame with like a gray slash orangey tint to it this is like colnago's answer to aero it's a little bit more of a race geometry and a little bit more of an aerodynamic design than last year's colnago c60 which i'm really excited about which i'm really excited about you may also notice the rotor power meter this year we're going to be sponsored by rotor so my race bike is going to come equipped with a rotor in power power meter and also the other final big change for this bike this year is we're not going to be we're not going to be riding compact anymore we're going to be we're going to be running shimano this year and in particular we're going to be running shimano ultegra di2 the first time I'm going to be riding on electric gears, which I'm really, really, really excited about. Never ridden electric gears before. Looking forward to not having the hassle of snapping my cables and electric gear and the cable and just looks so much, so much neater. Oh, and one more change that I forgot about from last year is we're not going to be running Continental tires anymore. 
we're switching to a company called Hutchinson's Tires, which I'm sure some of you will have heard about. All year we're going to be running the Hutchinson's uh, tubeless systems on our race wheels. And then we're finishing things off with an FSA finishing kit. A few new products that we're going to be trying this year, a few new things, a few different changes to what how the bike's going to feel last year, no doubt. But I'll give a full comprehensive review once I receive my bike in a few weeks' time. But that is a pretty smart whip if I do say so myself. Alright, day one, team camp done and dusted. See you tomorrow. Yeah,